After the body has taken the food components that it needs, waste products are left behind in the bowel and in the blood. The average adult has about 4.5 to 5.5 liters of blood inside their body. Blood is carried into the kidneys by the renal artery. The healthy kidney constantly cleaning about half a cup of blood every minute and getting rid of waste material, toxins, and excess water in the bloodstream. In the kidney, there are millions of tiny blood filters called nephrons. Nephrons are so small, you can see them only with a high-powered microscope. Each nephron is made up of a very small filter called a glomerulus, which is attached to a tubule. As blood passes through the nephron, fluid and waste products are filtered out into the ureters. The ureters are narrow tubes that carry urine from the kidneys to the bladder. Muscles in the ureter walls continually tighten and relax, forcing urine downward, away from the kidneys, not allowing them to back up or stand still. The urine then enters the bladder. The bladder is about the size and shape of a pear when empty. The bladder's walls relax and expand to store urine, allowing urination to be controlled. The normal capacity of the bladder is 400 to 600 milliliters. The bladder has a direct line of communication with the brain. It is full of receptors an invisible fill line that tells your brain how full your bladder is. When your bladder is full, the nerves alert the person that it is time to urinate. Then the brain signals the bladder muscles to tighten, which squeezes urine out of the bladder. At the same time, the brain signals the sphincter muscles to relax, to let urine exit the bladder through the urethra. Urine is about 95% water and 5% waste products, including urea, creatine, ammonia, and uric acid. The urethral sphincters, either male or female, are two muscular structures that regulate the outflow of urine and help keep urine from leaking by closing tightly. 